Who would animals vote for if they had a choice on that fateful day in November? Let's ignore these politicians' promises and rhetoric and look at the actual record of their actions. On the issue of the mass extinction of life on Earth and protecting wild animals, since 2008, first Obama Biden and then Biden Harris have used the powers of the presidency to protect over 553 million acres of Earth and ocean and all of the wild animals who live within them. Okay, what about the other side of the aisle? Rather than protecting wild animals, soon after being elected president, Donald Trump and the Republican-controlled Congress legalized the hunting, trapping, and gassing of hibernating mother and baby bears, attacked protections for American endangered species across the board, including bald eagles, wolves, polar bears whose habitat is already melting underneath them, and even lifted an Obama-era ban on the trophy hunting of elephants, despite elephants being a symbol of the Republican Party. That ban was reinstituted by Biden-Harris. On the issue of toxic fuels and the cancers in all species and climate disasters that they are causing, the Obama and then Biden-Harris administrations have enacted the most massive progress on the climate emergency in human history. With the caveat that the victories won by Obama were all overturned and destroyed once Trump came to power. Fast forward to now, and Biden-Harris's Inflation Reduction Act will cut the toxic fuel emissions of the United States by 40%, or approximately 1,000 megatons, if and only if those life-saving actions aren't sabotaged once again by Team Trump. What about the animals exploited and killed for food? While Donald Trump accelerated the pace at which slaughterhouses are legally allowed to kill animals, Kamala Harris, as Attorney General of California, successfully defended several anti-animal cruelty laws from legal challenges by Republican states, including a ban on gestation crates for pigs, a ban on the absolutely barbaric foie gras industry. She personally says she is trying to be mostly plant-based and has taken massive criticism just for advocating reduced animal consumption for the sake of addressing the climate emergency. Thank you for listening. Make sure you're actually registered to vote. Guy is I am.